Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Chronicles. In the last episode we fought Medusa. In this episode, we're gonna climb the Tower of Gears. How nice. Anyone will recognize this song if they saw my recent video game theme video. If not, then oh well, you're gonna hear it now. You're forced to. Alrighty, just carefully make your way up this tower. For first time players though, this place can be really bad. Because it is a quite a step up in difficulty. It really is. Thank goodness I've played this twice. Alright, be careful. I think things here do three damage now. How nice. Alright, let's make this thing point over here. This teeter-totter, ow. Yeah, there's a good example. Everything does three damage. How nice. Alrighty, we've made it through the first room. Because there's the exit right there. But we're far from done. Alright, we got a checkpoint, thank goodness. So if we do pass on, we start here. Alright, watch out for the bone pillars. They'll want to hurt you. And you don't want to get hit. You want as much health as possible. Now you're watching me just like, this isn't so bad. Yeah, be sure to jump on these. And as soon as you get to this one, immediately jump. Or you'll fly right into those spikes. An instant death. Oops. I forgot to jump. Oh well. We're all human, we make mistakes. Yeah, funny enough, I think this whip has the same power as the long one in this game. It's just shorter ranged. Alrighty, let's try that again with less mistakes. Jump away across this. Huzzah. Jump this time. There we go. Ah, Mario 2, Mario 1-esque platforms. Just move quickly across the first one and then take your time on the next. Alrighty, we want to be quick here, duck. Jump and then start jumping like a madman. Ah, we almost made it without getting hit. Yeah, there's a cross sub weapon there. Not, not that it'll do a whole fat load of good. Alright, duck and just start whacking with your whip to take care of these hunchbacks. I've tried it from other spots, but I usually end up getting hit because of that. So don't do it like that. Whoa, aw, oh, I almost did that. Turd. Let's just head to the right to the final area of this tower. Ooh, a free person. Oh no, so what's this? It's a happy little gear. I didn't know gear was so happy this time of day. I don't know if he watches these videos anymore. Whatever, that's just not for show. That's sort of a tutorial. That this place will drop gears on you. And at first, they'll just be happy little gears that jump up and down. And if you hit them, they move in that direction. Come on. There you go. Yeah, they can climb downstairs, too. I want to get rid of someone really quick. That little peeping eye. Come on. There we go. I probably did that wrong. Now make your way over here because we have a bunch of nice goodies this way. We have a stopwatch, which is extremely helpful for climbing this place. So let's get that and move along. So yeah, at first the gears will just drop. And then gears will start flying at you. Alright, now there's actually some wall chicken in that wall to the right. But we'll get that in just a moment. First of all, I want to make my way up here and get this a little bit done. Ow! Yeah, like that. There's a good example. Now I'll get the wall chicken. Ah, much better. I think I have enough health to take on the boss, as long as I don't get too beat up. That's why we have the stopwatch. Be careful, gears will fly at you. Ah! Stop it, gear. I thought we were friends. Apparently not. I'd be just supposed to fling himself into my arms for a hug. Me no want. It's painful. 
Alrighty, make your way across. Watch out, there's another gear up here that's gonna wanna fall on our heads. And back. Move along, gear, my friend. Alright, there's another gear right up ahead that's gonna fall out, but you can sort of trick it by just going under it. And then that's it. Stop time. Take care of these people. Awesome, we're pretty much done now. And with pretty much full health, which is good. Stopwatch is useless on the boss, by the way. Use the stopwatch to make this easier and whack him out of existence. Alrighty, guys, it's time for the boss. This probably being the hardest boss in the game. It's the She-Wolf! Everyone dreads this thing. I don't, but this thing is awesome. It really is. It flings crap at you. Ouch, that hurts. You're a mean wolf. You're a mean wolf, lady. Baltus would not date you. And he starts flinging numbers at us, too. It's time to die. Come on. Oh, I got hit. Come on, I can do this. I've done this. Oh, and that was like the last thing they would have flung at us, too. Anyways, to save time, I'll meet you guys back at the boss room. And we're back. Alright, round two, wolf lady. She-wolf! Bring it on. That's one hit. Ow, that's one hit on me, too. Not a great way to start the fight getting the crud beat out of me. Yeah, this is a really hard fight. You can whack her projectiles, too. Come on, lady. Stop it, that's not very nice. I had to clock you upside the head. Alright, it's boss battle time, boss. Yeah, that's like the easiest part of her when she grabs the clock face. And that's it. Thank you all for watching and what awaits us in the castle. Find out next time on Let's Play Castlevania Chronicles.